So today we're going to be talking about LR Cell Max just coming out in this meta being a just a superbly dominant super bosses unit. He is crazy. You can argue that he is one of the pieces of uh, tape that holds together super bosses because he's that great. Coming out June 18th of 2024 on JP and coming out August 21st of 2024 on Global. He's just about a month old on global that's crazy to think about so his leader skill is artificial life forms or super bosses for key and one 50 percent across the board and he also gets 50 percent attack for one turn while doing colossal damage to enemy and of course the name of his super attack is maximum smash the unga booga uh 12 key and his 18 key that being the maximum disaster he gets 50 percent attack for one turn while doing mega colossal damage to all enemies with the aoe while greatly lowering attack and defense i would argue that this guy not getting defense in either of his super attack effects is fine considering that he's doing crazy damage depending on who you talk to specifically me i love damage but if of course you're all about defense which is the meta this guy's defense post but I mean, he gets so much stats he gets so much stats and he doesn't even get an attack defense buff in his passive when performing a super attack he doesn't right if i remember correctly i i feel like his attack possibly makes up for the fact that him not getting defense on either of his super attack effects is fine. He's that good. And look at his active skill. Wait. 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 <laughs> his passive, that being ultimate weapon. Oh, and the name is 18 key is maximum disaster. I'm not sure if I said that. His passive, that being ultimate weapon out of control. Activates interest animation once only and he gets 100% attack and defense. Guard. Additional super attack chance, of course, launching additional attack has a 50% chance from a super attack for three turns from entry turn when you have a artificial life forms or super bosses category ally on the team. So very, very, very easy to get this guy's interest animation buff off to get that attack and defense buff guard as well as that additional super attack chance for those three turns. So he gets just a defensive maneuver to fall back on. He gets, of course, an attack and defensive buff as well as additional super attack chance. It's obviously something you can't beat. He also gets 5 key and 300% attack and defense at the start of the turn, and he gets 1 key up to 5 and 20% attack up to 100% attack with each attack performed, so that's just 5 attacks. And uh, he also gets 1 key up to 5 and 20% defense up to 100% defense with each attack received, so he just has to take 5 attacks too. So yeah, attack 5 times and take 5 hits, and he just gets 10 key and 100% attack and defense for free. So technically, after that third turn, when he loses his guard, as well as that additional attack defensive buff, he gets that back immediately because the, the key would be replaced with the guard, if you really think about it. It's replaced in, in place of the guard because he's going to lose after that third turn, and he already gets that 100% attack and defense from him just getting hit five times and performing five attacks. So it just he just gets it back. And he also launches an additional attack that has a 50% chance of a super attack, just unrestricted. Nice. We love un unrestricted additional super attack chance. And he also gets 250% defense as well as 30% damage reduction when all allies attack in the same turn are artificial life forms, super bosses, or movie bosses. Very easy to get off. And he also gets 250% attack as well as a 30% chance to crit when there are no superheroes category allies attacking in the same turn. Should be fairly easy considering the fact that you want this character with super boss characters and he also launches a guaranteed super attack when this character takes a super attack so granted what he's doing is a he has up to three plus supers built into him one being within the first three turns that being him launching an additional attack as a 50 percent from super attack so that's one with an interest animation buff the other one being unrestricted, that being him launching an additional attack that has a 50% chance of a super attack, just, again, unrestricted. And the third one, that being a guaranteed super for him just taking a super attack. So up to three plus supers, he gets massive amounts of attack and defense inside of his kit. He gets up to, what's that? That's 300% attack and defense right over here. He gets 100% attack and defense right over here from his interest animation buff. He gets five key and 100% attack and defense right over here, just him just taking attacks as well as receiving attacks well not taking attacks and receiving attacks him performing attacks and, and receiving attacks that's what i meant to say excuse me guys and him also getting 250 percent defense as well as 30 percent damage reduction that's just crazy so 250 percent defense right over here 250 percent attack right over here he gets up to 100 percent attack defense right over here 300 percent attack defense right over here 100 percent attack defense right over here 
And like, is he going to struggle for key? No, he's not. Because five key right here, up to 10 key right over here. Is, that's, what's that? That's 15 key just built into his entire kit. That's, that's great. That's just greatness. Within those first three turns, he's just a god. Literally. He gets guard, 30% damage reduction, crit chance, of course, a 30% chance to crit. 30% chance to crit as well as of course 30 percent damage reduction guard 250 percent attack defense combined for the specific conditions i mean this card this card talks to you it, it literally talks to you like the proof is it, he's him <laughs> I, this is how it's gonna be for these uh, these custom card reviews for cards that come out during this year I think for most of the cards that come out this year or, or came out this year this is how these custom card custom Excuse me, I'm thinking about custom cards. These are how these unit reviews are going to go. And his active skill, which we haven't even got to, that being the explosive scream. 100% attack temporarily. That's 100%, right? Yeah. 100% attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to the enemy, as well as 999% defense and directs all enemy attacks to his character for one turn. So he gets 999% defense and directs all character attacks to him for one turn. This is some custom card level stuff. Th this is. This is literally like Vanilla Dokkan's little joke, like jab at custom card creators. For this, like this. Like, oh, we see you doing all this, this funny business. We're going to do this exactly. And it also can be activated when all allies attack in the same turn are artificial life forms or super bosses characters are from the fourth turn from start of battle or when all allies attack in the same turn are extreme class from the sixth turn from start of battle so very easy to get off essentially after your interest animation buff wears off of him having that attack defensive buff that guard and that additional super attack chance um he pops his active skill and he's literally just is he unkillable all right all right maybe maybe not he's um did he die through his active skill? Anyways, his link set is Andrew's Assault, Infighter, Berserker, BBB, Nightmare, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. His categories, Movie Bosses, Androids, Artificial Life Forms, Final Trump Card, Battle of Fate, Super Bosses, and Uncontrollable Power. Um, so, uh, what are we talking about here? Uh, um, class. So, Passive. Um, very strong within his first three turns. He's getting uh, free attack and defense above as well as guard and additional super attack chance to help him further build up his key and attack and defense uh, just from him taking hits and performing attacks. Um, that just that helps. Uh, so yeah, great interest animation buff. Can get guard, 30% damage reduction, up to three plus supers, high amounts of stats, crit chance. This card has almost everything. Almost. Won't struggle for key, by the way. Because I like the fact that this card won't struggle for key, considering the fact that his link set is ass. His link set is so bad. I feel like the negative things you could point about, out about this card is the fact that A, he's not getting a defensive buff on either of his super attack effects. B, his link set is terrible. And uh, that, that would that be about it? And C would also be him being locked to one team, that being he super boss is like the main team you run him on, right? Or artificial life forms. Because you still could get these out. You, you still could. It's like super boss artificial life forms, because you can still get those out, but that'd be about it. Yeah. He's locked to very few teams. He doesn't get a defensive buff of either of his super attack effects. And his link set is ass. And outside of that, he's like he does crazy damage. He's a, a, a ridiculous defensive unit. Um, well, yeah, he is. I mean, not def <laughs> downplay cell max. Stop it, Dev. <laughs> I mean, he he's gotten me killed before. I ain't gonna cap. I'm not even gonna act like he hasn't. But that doesn't take away from the fact that he is a he's a, he's a great defensive unit. I would have to say it's like guard, 30% damage reduction, as well as high amounts of percentage defense. And you pop his active skill, and he's just like just he's god. All right. And he is on three, not three, four 200% leader skills. I need to get myself a bottle of water. Four 200% leader skills. And his best thing partner is a summonable SR. Yeah, a summonable SR. 
Okay. This is why I said about his link set being fucking ass. Like, look at this. Like, two key, 60% attack and 45% defense. It's like, you're... Who are you sitting this guy right next to? And, like, in a showcase setting, it's going to be him for sure. Because he's supporting him. But even then, yeah, like, I mean, you do have some Asu. I mean, that's going to be about it. <laughs> There's Cell Max. Uh, I think that's going to be all for Cell Max. He just crazy offensively defensively has one of the strongest active skills in the game um his i feel like him doing the damage he does would i feel like that overshadows him not getting defense on super but that still technically is a problem you could point out no but yeah i appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best i'll catch you guys next week i absolutely love you all peace